I know for a fact you and I would both both have grown far faster and we'd have far more possibilities and more business <laughs> ventures etc if we had a filming team an editing team a business yeah. marketing team so I just don't so, want to do it <laughs> I just well, I just I got an ego but it's not like I I want to do it myself I think it would make you enjoy it a, like less yeah because I'm a creator I want to create yeah. everything yeah I'm with you on that and I I don't know how you feel about it, but a lot of people often say that to me. And I, I try to explain, like, the DIY videos, for example, that I do. You, How are you going to have a team make that video? Because only I know what I'm doing in the video. Yeah. And so I make it. It would have been nice to have somebody else film and take the shots and make sure, sure it's recording and blah, blah, blah. It would have been nice. But for me, when I first started taking the like the do-it-yourself projects, I had to build two. One to make sure everything worked mm -hmm. and the materials were accessible and everything, and then one for the video. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was taking like up to 40 hours to make one video. Mm -hmm. And some and the videos were only doing like 10, 20,000 views. But yeah. that was huge for then. I mean, but once I built 300 things, I didn't want to go back and build them again. Yeah. And a lot of people are like, get back to do it yourself. I'm like, what do you want me to build? There's nothing left. <laughs> I built everything. I'll build things here and there. And I do. I'm constantly doing projects. I mean, yeah. so the, that's the one thing that I have to get out of my way with. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure Tanner will be able to relate. Not everything makes it to video. But damn yeah. near everything you do within your hobby should probably have been filmed. And all these little projects and fixes could have probably been made a video. But sometimes, I mean, especially for me, this is my time alone and my meditation yep. and I just want to tinker around and, and you know, maybe I'm listening to some music or maybe mm -hmm. I'm just listening to my own thoughts and it's just, I don't want to be on camera and I don't yeah. want to have to talk about it. So uh, when yep. that happens and I really got to film, I'll do a voiceover. Yeah. And yeah. I hate doing vo voiceover videos. I can but. totally agree with you on that. And it's almost like the same thing as tank maintenance or tank updates. Like, I mean, the mm. update videos, they don't get any views anyway, but people always request that stuff and as a content creator and talking to other people who are trying to make youtube channels you'll see a lot of people say stuff in your comments that is not necessarily the majority and just because they're suggesting it that doesn't mean the video is going to do well but anyway i find that i don't like filming the updates or the maintenance and stuff because that's my it's like it's a more um intimate personal time yeah more of an intimate time with your tanks and like i I'm, I'm focused on making sure I'm doing everything right and I'm not hurting the fish or the frogs or whatever, you know, while I'm doing the maintenance. And I, I don't yeah. feel like screwing around with the camera or the tripod yeah. or whatever. And then you start mm -hmm. to feel guilty. Like, yeah. I should have filmed that because my next video has got to be fantastic and it's got to it's got to perform well. Yeah. Well, I don't know. May, I might you have, have no choice because yeah. every time I have a bad video, it takes weeks for the algorithm to forgive me. It yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah, and it sucks. Or if I need a time off, or there's no such thing as time off. I hadn't had time off in 13 years. Mm -hmm. And I'm not complaining. I love it. And mm -hmm. I don't know what I would do without it. It's just sometimes I, I wish I was a better YouTuber. Yeah. 